Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats here from Pop Turnus, speaking to Lamar Johnson about The Last of Us on HBO. New episodes every Sunday, of course. Welcome to the show, man. Thanks so much for being here. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. I mean, you know, I I feel like it might start kind of hitting you a little bit, but has <laughs> it is it like like episodes are starting to roll out now? People have been yeah, talking yeah, about yeah. this show for a while. Like, what does it yeah. feel like for the episodes to finally be trickling out? <laughs> Um, I mean, it feels amazing. It feels amazing. You know, I mean, I think everybody knew uh, that this would be special because that's just what it felt on set and sort of just everything about it uh, and the set and the, the environment practicals that, you know, everything about it was just really special. Um, so I think just anticipating this moment, you know, for the first episode to roll out and to see the reception and now the second episode and to see how much the fans love it. I mean, I think it's uh, I mean, it's, it's the best case scenario, really. It's really amazing, too, because adaptations, Lamar, always interest me because I feel like the mindset will differentiate. But it's cool because, you know, um, there's, like, characters from the video game, and then there's a lot of adaptations that, like, will go a little bit off the kind of original source material, make new characters and everything. Right. What is your mindset right. specifically with this project, knowing that it was one of the most popular video games of all time? Um. Well, I think, I mean, me being a fan of the game, um, <laughs> I think, you know, once I, once I, I read my episodes, um, I should have, uh, you know, once, once again, I mean, the script was so good. I think Craig did such a fantastic job with the adaptation, truly. Mm -hmm. And I remember reading the script for the first time and sort of already being familiar with Henry Sam and their journey, but then seeing mm -hmm. what he did on the page and how that translated i mean it was it was it was amazing i mean i um yeah i i i really really enjoyed the experience uh to work with everyone and sort of bring this to life absolutely i mean you know you see it with episode 1 and episode 2 i mean it's just like a like a, a cinematic ride for the audience member like some yeah. scenes you really feel like you're playing the video game sometimes right yeah yeah <laughs> which yeah. is so crazy to see you know i'm sure kind of like what you said at the beginning of the interview like you have a special group of people making this amazing stuff together and it just feels right. Now you see kind of the reception and everyone yeah. like, does it kind of feel a little bit like you're, you've entered like a roller coaster that you can't really like get off a little bit. Yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it's pretty <laughs> surreal. It's pretty yeah. surreal. I mean, my episode hasn't even aired yet and I'm already getting, you know, a lot of love from fans and people that are excited for my performance and, you know, for my interpretation of, 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 of Henry. Um, and, and I, I'm, I mean, I'm over the moon, really. I'm, I'm, I'm really, really excited. And, you know, especially even when I got the audition, you know, it was kind of a no brainer for me. You know, I was sort of something I was like, yeah, I'm definitely getting in front of this, especially being a fan, you know, especially seeing Craig and Neil is also a part of this and seeing HBO and, you know, just all the amazing people that were part of this story. I mean, I was like, I, I'm absolutely wanting to get in front of this. And, you know, I got to set and Craig told me something really beautiful. And he said, you know, when I saw your tape, I knew that it was you, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'm really just happy that, you know, both my sentiment and Craig's sentiment really came together on in such a, a beautiful way. And, um, you know, we, we, we made it, you know, and, um, you know, of course, you know, obviously the material is really heavy, yeah. but, um, it was such a joy to, to work with everybody, especially Kivon who plays Sam. Um, he's so very special. And this was his first time acting ever, uh, believe it or not. So, it's um, interesting because there's like familiar territory and unfamiliar territory because like people are watching the episodes week after week. They've played the video games, but they're kind of yeah. like, I know what happens in the video games. Is it going to be different in the series? You know what I mean? I feel right, like that's right. going to, that is that cool to kind of be on the other side of it? Being like you filmed everything, you know what's happening yeah. and everyone just has to wait and see. Like, it's pretty cool to be like that, right? It is. It is really cool because you know what? I'm so confident that people will be happy you yeah. know which is why it's so cool to sit down and be like okay and also prior to the show coming out you know seeing everyone and seeing some people that were maybe a little skeptical wasn't sure it's like mm, i don't know if they're gonna you know adaptations don't really do this you know like there's oh, all the adaptations kind of is crazy for sure yeah it, 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 you never know sometimes and yeah. different but again like i think the thing that the fans really have to understand and i think i love it with this fan base is 
This isn't the Last of Us video games. Yeah. This is the series on HBO Max. This is the live action. Uh, on HBO, yes. yeah. Yes. It's yes. the series yes. on HBO, right? So right. it's not the video games. Like, people yeah. need to know so, that. Yeah, like, it won't be a complete carbon copy, you know? Yeah. And to be honest, I don't think I would have wanted that, you know? Like, I think, I think, I think, I think, once again, Craig does such a great job with still staying true to the story mm -hmm. and still staying true to a lot of the, the main beats and moments that are necessary to tell the story of the last of us, you mm -hmm. know, and these characters and, you know, the, even there's moments like word for word, you know, there's even the, like the dialogue is, even, you know, he does such a great job with marrying the game also with some added things, you know, because with an adaptation, you have like, there's, there's a shift in medium, right? Yeah. So there's video game and then there's now live action, right? A lot of time spent in the video game is sort of you controlling these characters, you know, and sort of you control these characters, shooting things, you know, sneaking around and, you know, going through drawers, you know, all these, like, there's a lot yeah. of time that's spent. So with the adaptation, you kind of have to fill those, those moments, right? So I think Craig just did such a great job with the show, um, which is why I'm so very confident that as fans continue to watch episode, uh, like episode after episode, that they will really fall in love if they haven't already. It's an event. It's, but it's, yes. it's it's become an event, man. Like Sunday yeah, nights, yeah, yeah, yeah. new episode a lot. Yeah. It's, it's like yep. you were part Sunday of an event. PM, yeah. You were part yeah, of yeah. a weekly event. Like, how's yeah. that feel? It feels amazing, you know. It feels amazing that I'm a part of something just so, uh, so major, you know. Um, you know, again, I, I know the success of the game. You know, the yeah. game was wildly successful. So, to even feel that translate over to the show, um, is like, uh, it's it's amazing. And you know, we want to kind of like we. I always walk on eggshells a little bit when I do interviews, right? Because you don't want to get into spoilers. You just kind of yeah. want to, like, give people enough of a taste to check it out without going into big kind of storylines. Not what we're doing right. now. But the one thing I will say about this right now is I feel like The Last of Us on HBO is an example of how television has become global. Like, the global yeah. reception for this show has been incredible. How there's mm -hmm. love all around the world for these characters already. There's two episodes in. But also... Yeah. It's very cinematic. Like, television has become cinematic, and yeah. this show is very cinematic. So what's that like, being part of, like, a show or a time where TV has become global and cinematic yeah. as well? I'm curious about your thoughts on that. I think it's amazing. Um, I think it's amazing because I remember – I mean, not that I remember because it's quite some time. But there was a point in time where film actors did not – you won't see them on television. No. And television actors, you wouldn't see them in film. And I think it, there's now this, like, really beautiful marriage yep. that, like – Television is now films. It's like nine hour film. Like it's like <laughs> ten hour. like especially with these limited series, you know, like it, they they do such a great job with telling these stories cinematically. They do. Um, you know, um, that it feels like long movies. Yep. You know, it really feels like long movies, and especially the ones that all the episodes come out at once. You can really sit down and binge an eight to ten hour movie. Um, mm -hmm. you know, if that's what you want to do. Um, and I think it's great. I think it's great. You know, I think filmmaking and, and television, you know, I think both of those mediums are, you know, those lines are sort of getting a little blurred, you know, yeah. and to be honest, nowadays, the tele, there are some television that's actually even better than film. And the reason why I say that is because you can flesh out these characters, I agree. You, spend yep. more, you spend more time, right? Whereas for a film, you kind of have to get it done. And well, nowadays, films like three hours, so you can have like three hours to really tell Episode a story. One of or Last can, of Us was a movie, if you think about it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, I, but I don't think that's enough time. You know, yeah. I think The Last of Us as a show and as a series is perfect to tell this type of story. Oh, you know, yeah. you get super invested into Ellie and Joel and their relationship and how that grows and builds as opposed to in a movie. You kind of have to like shorten that that space and time because you also have to leave room to introduce these other characters, leave room to introduce a lot of different things and a lot of different points that might educate you on, you know, so... Uh, I think with the show, it's it's fantastic, and I'm really happy that um, with the cinematography and the set design and um, the wardrobe, it's just just everything about about the show is is um, is fantastic. I'm literally sitting down watching this as a fan. Although I was a part of this, I'm still sitting down and watching this as a fan because it's uh, it's truly uh, it's it's amazing to see. Did it feel like? transform like when you did your episodes and everything did it truly feel like you were like like transformed into another kind of world did it really feel like that at times 
Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All this, all this sets in the environment was was there for you. Like, it, you know, a lot of people. I mean, when you're watching these episodes, just like, wow, like the CGI is amazing. And yes, there are there is CGI, but if I could tell you, most of what you're looking at is real. Um, I was, I was, I was blown away. Like, they, they you know, um, you know, for my episode for episode five, they literally built the full like. I don't want to give too much spoilers or anything episode like that. Five. But- yeah, 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 yeah. Did you? Uh, but they, was, yeah, but you said they built a whole a whole thing from scratch. Like cul de sac, like a full cul de sac, a full neighborhood, man. Like you know, it's it's just insane. The scale and scope of, of this is is insane. So I didn't have to act, really. You know, it was it was there. Did you know in advance that Henry was going to be in the trailer for the show? No. Okay. So that I, must have I, been I, a fun. So that must have been a fun. No, that was awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, I <laughs> I remember doing no, I remember doing ADR um with uh and Craig was on on the on the Zoom and Craig and I were just talking and he's like, Yeah, you know, um uh yeah, the trailer should be coming out soon, you know, this and the third, whatever. And also like, you know, you'll see yourself and blah 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 in um in the there's a like a post trailer was like mm-hmm. things to come throughout the you know and he's like, Yeah, you know, you'll see I had no idea that I was gonna be in the in the in the the main like official trailer. Um, so it was, awesome. I was, I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah. yeah, no, it was amazing. You know what I also love about storytelling these days is the genre bending component of storytelling. And yeah. I think we get it with this. Do you notice the genre bending elements when you read the episodes for this? Like how it has kind of a lot of everything in it from a genre perspective? Like it really does. Yeah, no, no. yeah for sure. You, you know, but also like understanding who is a part of this and who's behind it. Yep. Um, it also made sense, you know, mm-hmm. um, you know, Craig is his writing background. I mean, he's done so many, so many different things and so many genres. He's jumped in so many different, you know, um, um, really spaces. So I think with him sort of being able to to bring this all together and sort of put it on the page and you know bring it to life, um, I had full trust that this would be something that you know uh, people would really, really connect to and and vibe with. Before we wrap up, last question. Everyone's talking about this show. Everyone has theories. Everyone has ideas. The fans yeah. are just out there like like it's full out like craziness right now and nonstop. Yeah. Really like a roller coaster you can't escape, even from like the <laughs> yeah, yeah, social yeah, media yeah. user. What yeah. is something you can share about The Last of Us, whether like making it or like anything that maybe fans don't know about or fans might like be interested in. Is there anything on top of your head? Even if it's not super crazy, is there anything on top of your head? Um well I feel like I feel like they they might have already known this, but <laughs> when I when I tell you but when I tell but when I tell you um every, like you know a lot everyone had such a respect for the game. Yeah. Even down to the crew. Like yeah. the crew was uh, like you know um there are moments that you know especially those moments that we really hit it on the nail or Craig really hits it on the nail where it's like oh my I, I, it feels like I'm watching the game those moments even the crew would get geeked out over these moments you know wow. the people that were a part of this telling this story and a part of bringing this to life truly truly were you know very big fans of the game and if not had such a deep respect for the material um and i think fans could feel really really good especially with as they continue to watch the show i think they can feel really good to know that you know the um the integrity is there you know the 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 the, the game and the essence of the game and those feelings um that the game brought the fans um is, is is there in the show if not actually now even more so because you're now actually watching a real human being feel these emotions and experience these things so it may even hit a, even a little harder because of how cinematic and the way that the story is told absolutely i love the idea of the whole cast and crew being connected by the original source material that's like the best thing so that's great yeah. that you shared though no, that was great i'm yeah. sure a lot of people don't even realize how yeah okay yeah. there we go yeah there we go <laughs> but it's so good that you said that because the fans are dialed in right so you kind of like yeah. right away. You're like they might even know this already. <laughs> yeah, but well, they, well, I mean, the fans know everything. You know, even down to like little Easter eggs and like little things. Like I remember after the first episode, I went on YouTube and I just wanted to see what people were saying, and you know, and there were some videos that got into and it broke down some Easter eggs and some posters and things that I'm like, I didn't even, <laughs> I didn't even think 
I didn't even connect this. That that that's crazy. And you to were me around. That. You were there. You and, were. <laughs> you know. Well, I I wasn't around actually the first episode, right? So I'm aware yes. of what happens. I didn't know the changes that they made because yeah. I was only around for my block. Yeah. Um. Like I I wasn't on set for the full year that they shot. Yeah. Um. Uh, I was only around for my block, but I was still aware of you know again the game and how it happens, right? So it was really crazy to me to see, and it was like probably like maybe 10, 15 minutes after it had ended. So I don't even know how, like, <laughs> I, you know, but the fans are are really on it and I'm, I'm super impressed. And I'm just really grateful to have that kind of fan base and that type of love for the show. I mean, it, it's really, really special. I love um, how passionate you also, are about it. And it's also a testament to, um, you know, um, the fans in the game. Really, yeah. you know, it's a testament to to how much that has moved people, and you know that has now translated to to the series, and um, you know I couldn't be happier. I love how passionate you are about the project; it's so amazing, Lamar. Thank you so much for joining me on Pop Turtles. It was yeah, great chatting course. with you. Yeah, you as well. Thanks for having me. So here's the thing: new episodes are rolling out every Sunday on HBO, The Last of Us. In, yes. in case, just in case they didn't re- they didn't know that they're coming out every Sunday. Right? <laughs> um and your instagram account is it just your name lamar yeah johnson? lamar johnson lamar okay, johnson so they can follow you they can follow you there yes. and look out yes. for the henry episodes because it's gonna, yes look out it's for gonna the henry be, episode yeah episode five episode five well this has been pop turn of youtube.com slash pop turn for previous episodes till next time it's lamar johnson who puts henry in the last of us on hbo and pd beats signing off thank you for tuning in to pop turn Make sure to check out our past episodes of Popternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.